Hello YouTube. So how do you record to chrome tape at a 120 microsecond EQ setting on a deck that doesn't have an EQ switch? I'm going to demonstrate that with the DDI codec software. It's a piece of software that allows you to take a music file and encode it with either Dolby B or Dolby C noise reduction. And if you want to, you can also uh, perform so-called EQ conversion. That's convenient if you have a deck without an EQ switch. Now I want to put an album on tape and I don't have a deck with, uh, with a separate EQ switch. So what do I need to do uh, to get it all properly on tape? Well, the first thing is, let's go over to the album. I've got an album here called The Absence of Presence by Kansas. It's a very nice album, uh, but it's also a uh, album that's recorded uh, for loudness uh, compression. And if we load these files into a uh, piece of software such as Audacity, you can see that all these files, these are the first five tracks of this album, they all max out at zero decibel full scale that means it uses the the maximum dynamic range available of digital files uh, since we will be doing processing with a ddi codec software we need to create some headroom uh, for ddi codec to amplify signals so before we can process these files with ddi codec we first need to attenuate the signals in these files so I've loaded uh, the first five tracks of this album, which is gonna be side A of my cassette tape. I've loaded them into Audacity, and now I'm gonna process them for that little bit of attenuation. So I'm selecting all the tracks, select all, and then I'm gonna align them up end to end, line tracks end to end. There we have it. And what we can do now is again, select all we have all the tracks selected and now we can use the effect amplify option to attenuate the file and let's say we're gonna reduce it by 12 decibels there we go so the music uh, has been attenuated now we are going to export it to a new file so we can use that file in DDI codec for further processing file export selected audio and I already have one file here but I'm gonna overwrite it save yep 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 there we go Okay, uh, the music has been exported. Let's check that out. And there we have it. I can play it, for example, in FUBAR. Let's close that down again. Now we can load the file into DDI codec. Let's bring that up and drag the file into it. And there we have it. So the next thing we need to do here is first set, do we want to decode it or encode it? Now in this case we're going to encode it and let's choose for Dolby B. We're also going to do the EQ conversion because that's the main uh, goal of our uh, exercise here. Uh, so which one do we need to choose? Well, if you click on this uh, question mark, you can see here a list of how to properly set it. If you use the 120 to 70 microsecond setting, the recorder should be set to 70 microseconds. So if you put a chrome tape in your deck, then that will be the setting. But the audio on tape will be 120 microsecond EQ. So we choose this option. The next step is to decide how hot we are going to record it on our deck. Uh, let's say that from experience we know that we shouldn't exceed like the plus three decibel mark on our deck 
And let's also assume that the zero decibel mark on our deck is the same as the Dolby level, because that will make things a lot easier. Uh, if your deck has a different level at zero dB other than the Dolby level, then you need to work some things out. Uh, but here we're going to assume that zero dB is the same as Dolby level. Now let's play the file and see how it looks on our meters. You see it's maxing out at plus six decibels above the so-called reference mark, the reference vernier. And mm, the reference vernier in this particular case is what is our Dolby level. Because the music is peaking plus six decibels and we want it to be peaking at plus three decibels, we need to shift this reference vernier around. So that it gives us an extra headroom of plus three decibels. And let's see how it looks now. Well, it's speaking at the uh, plus three decibels. You can also see the very drastic loudness compression in this piece of music because the meters aren't really bouncing up and down. It's, uh, it's all very flat. Okay, but let's now say that this is uh, what we have. We can now uh, save the file. We're gonna click at save as. And what it's gonna do, it's actually gonna overwrite that file. So if we're not careful, give it another name, uh, just Okay, our encoded file is saved now. We can see it here, the original and the encoded file. And the next thing that we need to do is generate a so-called reference tone. And there's an option for that here. Let's eject the file and generate reference tone. To record the reference tone, we press the record button, it will now start recording the tone to a file. So we created the file, it's called untitled.flag, but we need to save it and it will save it as a uh, WAV file. Uh, Dolby level, save, save, right. So we got uh, everything we need now to put the recording on tape. We've got the encoded music file and we got the Dolby level file. So next thing we do is hook up the input of our cassette deck to the output of our computer. Put a tape into your deck, uh, set all switches as required. Of course, you're not gonna switch Dolby on because the file is already encoded with Dolby. And put the deck in record mode. Now play the Dolby level .wav file and next set the record level control on your deck so that the meters uh, point to the Dolby level symbol. Now we can play the encoded file and record it to tape. Thank you for watching.